Hello, Shamai, and welcome back to this FM Beta save with Everton. And today we have the first game of the season against Brighton at home. Now, there have been a couple of competitive games in the Europa League, which I will tell you about just in a second. But I thought I'd show this screen, the new match preview screen, the improved match preview screen. And we can see down the bottom here, we've got the Brighton report. And their biggest strength and their potential weakness, they tend to fade late in the, in the game. So, so far, four of the seven goals conceded have come in the last 15 minutes. So, that means in the last 15 minutes, we know that if we're, if we're losing or if we're drawing, we can push on a little bit and maybe, maybe sneak an early goal. And we've got the referee here, Craig Pawson, got an average of one yellow card a match, which is it's quite an interesting stat to know. So you, if, you're, if you're on Get Stuck In and you see that the referee has, is averaging five or six yellow cards a game, you need to be careful. These little early things now to give you a little bit, just a little bit more in depth. So if we take a look at how things have gone, friendlies went very well, pretty much. One all against Duke, Duke, Duke Le Prague. We beat Victoria Pilsen 2-1. Beat Kettering 4-0, Blackburn 3-1, Gillingham 2-0, and Union SG 1-0. So then we played the first round, uh, no, the first leg, sorry, of our Euro Euro Europa League third round qualifying round, and we lost 1-0 to Burnby at home, the Danish Giants, Jordan Pickford own goal in that game. That was a little bit frustrating, a little bit worried, like, if things are going this bad already, then I can't wait to see what happens in the in the start of the season. We then beat Braga 3-1 in a friendly, and then came the second leg against Brinby. We won 3-2 on the night, and it was a little bit close. It, we went through on away goal, Sandro with two goals, Umanias with one, and you can see they scored the 90 plus first minute to make it three all on aggregate, but we went through on away goals. And we've drawn Astana, who should be a, an easier game in the Europa League than Brinby. So a little something that happened as well. I did sell Aaron Lennon and Wayne Rooney wasn't happy about it. So my man managerial support has dropped a little bit. The dressing room atmosphere is good, but my managerial support has dropped because Wayne Rooney is unhappy with me, which is a little bit worrying. And he's be it's reflected in his playing as well. When he's playing, he's been absolutely terrible. Our match cohesion as well isn't the best. So talk about the sale of Aaron Lennon here. Let's have a look a little bit. A couple of transfers. We'll start with the outs. We've loaned out Dominic Calvert-Lewin. That's probably the biggest loan we sent out. A little bit um, risky considering he's one of the few players that can play striker in this team. But I, I was happy with it. And then we sold Aaron Lennon for £7 million, which I think was a pretty good deal for Aaron Lennon. And Wayne Rooney wasn't happy because he was one of the leaders in the dressing room, apparently. Which, I mean, I can understand that. But players can't just get unhappy just because you've sold someone. And then we sold Kevin Morales to Monaco for a potential fee of 19.5 million, which again I thought was a really, really good deal. But this time Seamus Coleman kicked off and said, why have you sold Kevin Morales? He was a leader in the changing room. And I told him it was because of financial reasons it was a good offer and then he was happy with it. So I hope that it's not going to be the case that every time I sell a player, if they're in for Wenchen, someone's going to kick off because there's... I feel like that's slightly unrealistic and if we look at the ins just two players then and that's probably going to be it for transfers unless something comes up and we sell a player for whatever reason we signed Ben Mee who is a, a, a backup left back slash centre back really he's somewhat because we've only got Baines who can play left back so I thought it'd be good to have someone who can cover that just in case Baines gets injured because there is quite a lot of injuries in this game and then probably the best signing that we're going to make well we've only made two so yeah is Moussa Dembele from Celtic for £30 million. He's an excellent player, has some good potential as well. And you can see here in some of the stats, 15 finishing, 12 first touch and 14 dribbling. He's going to be a fantastic player to lead the line as our complete forward. So let's go into the game. we we'll have a look at our tactic screen here. We're sticking with this formation, although I don't know whether we should play on attacking or counter against Brighton today. I'm going to stick with attacking and we'll see how it goes. I mean, you look here at the injuries that we've got. Some of them aren't due to the game, they're due to real life. Because Chamber Corn is injured in real life. Three weeks to two months until he's back. Funes Mori is also injured in real life and he's out for eight to nine months. And then Yannick Valashi, again, injured in real life. Four to five months until he's back. Ross Barkley is just about fit to play on the bench today. And you can see there, Wayne Rooney so far, 6.45 rating. So let's take a look at the team then. 
We have Jordan Pickford in goals, Michael Keane, Phil Jagielka, Ben Mee and Leighton Baines across the back. I'm really looking forward to Seamus Coleman coming back fit so that we can slot Michael Keane into centre-back. Michael Keane? Michael Keane into centre-back with Ben Mee. A nice little Burnley partnership there uh, in the centre of our defence. Morgan Schneidlin, Gilfie Sigurdsson and Idrissa Gay. Idrissa Gay hasn't had the best start so far, but we're sticking with him today. And then Davy Klaassen behind Uma Nias and Moussa Dembele. So here we have the new, the lovely new screen. And we actually have someone with a picture now in Moussa Dembele because we signed it from Celtic and they've obviously got the license for Celtic. And I really, really like this screen. It's really good to see how the, the opposition is going to line up, how you're going to line up. And now we're into the dressing room. And I've, I've, kind of, I've kind of stuck with what I did in FM17. I'm not really a fan of this all here because I like to be able to look at them quickly. Um, I think we'll go for... I don't really know. We'll go for Calm. All the best. Half, okay, they didn't like that. And then the usual thing I do was Passionate and I Have Faith in You. And it, it's kind of working in, in this game as well. So I might just stick with my usual team talk. There we go. A couple of the players are happy. And we'll do the same for our strikers. Okay, they didn't really appreciate it. But we've got our team, and we'll go out into kickoff then. And I must say, when I saw the FMTV videos, I didn't think much of the new graphics engine. But now I'm seeing it in-game myself. I think it, you can really, really see the improvements. And this is only a bit of a while. There could be a couple of changes. The, the pitch is a little bit bright, but, I mean, that's, that's not really detrimental to the game. Lovely tackle there by Sigurdsson to win the ball back. And the one thing I don't really like is how the, the sounds go off during uh, in-between highlights. Schneidlin with the ball now. A nice ball out to Keane. Into Nias. And Nias loses it and it's cleared up. Hope Jagielka can't get caught in possession here or anything now. I mean, I don't really know what he's doing. There we go. Gives it back to Pickford. Pickford with a lovely clearance up. Nias can't win the header, but Sigurdsson's got it. Gives it to Garner. Into Dembele. What can he do? He's got a bit of space. He strikes it on. He's hit the post. That's a fantastic strike from Dembele. Almost getting... His first goal on his debut. Nias with it now. There's another chance here. Goes out wide to Keane. Keane crosses it. Oh, it's a great save by Ryan. Really good save. I think it was David Klassen with the header. Sigurdsson with the, free, uh, with the corner comes in now. And there's no one there for us. I don't really know where all our players were. Ben Mee wins the ball back. So we're dominating early on in the first few minutes. And this highlight isn't over yet. Pickford with another clearance up. Nias, can he win the header? Gives it to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson to Keane. Keane crosses it. Garner's got it now, he strikes it, he's hit the post. Oh my word, how have we not scored so far? We're absolutely dominating the game. Sigurdsson with the corner now, it comes in. It's headed away, Keane's got some space. Gives it to me. Me back to Keane. Keane out wide to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson into the box, and the ass has scored. Umanias, a Sigurdsson uh, assist as well. And it's 1-0 after six minutes, and it's nothing more than we've deserved. Because we've absolutely battered them in those first six minutes, and we could already be 2 or 3-0 up. Ben Mee, nice ball back into Keane. Keane spots Sigurdsson in a lot of space. Sigurdsson turns inside, spots in the ass, and it's a first-time finish into the bottom right-hand corner. It's 1-0. It's nothing more than we deserved, and that's a fantastic start for us. And, I mean, Uma Nias has been a brilliant player for us in pre-season and in the Europa League so far as well. Sigurdsson with the corner in now, headed away again. Maybe we need to work on the on our corners. Sigurdsson into Garner, into Ben Mee. That's blocked by our own player. Dembele, back to Sigurdsson, strikes it. Back to Schneidlin, strikes it. Oh, and it's just gone wide. I do like the little notifications being at the top. I think it looks a lot cooler up there instead of in the corner over here. And you can see then that you know, Munde Mr. Deme has been booked. Might want to tell him to ease off tackle, that kind of thing. Is Kareda with the corner. Knockout strikes it. Oh, my God. Pickford saved it into the post and then picked it back up. That was um, that was very risky. Uh, we're only 1-0 up as well, so we don't need we don't want Brighton to come into this game now. Hemed's got the ball. B's, ben Mee's there. <laughs> Me. Nias now. Gives it to Klassen. Klassen spots Dembele. What can he do? He sees Baines out wide. In space. Across comes in. Nias. Oh, he can't win, win the header, but Keane's got it now. Garner. Idrissa Gay into Dembele. Dembele strikes it. Oh, and it's just wide. It's just wide. Dembele's really, really looking tired out there. So I think I'll bring him off for Sandro very, very soon into the second half. We're surprisingly ahead given we're struggling to get enough shots in. I disagree. We've had 14 shots of us. Quite a lot of shots. Nice header there. Davy klassen has got the ball now. Over the top to Dembele. Dembele into the box. Nias. Oh, and he's hit it over. How have we not? How have we only scored one goal? I mean, our shooting actually this game is pretty terrible. And there's the half-time whistle. This is another nice new screen here. And we can see the team analysis. 
We've regained possession well in central areas. Good conversion of final third entries into shots. But apparently we've lost a lot of possession in the central areas. I always get this. We win a lot of possession and we lose a lot of possession in the central areas. I suppose that's just a natural thing though. And you can see there they've lost a lot of possession and Marcus Sutner is obviously having a very, very poor game. So if we click here and go to our team talk, I mean, I'm, I'm really struggling with team talks. I'm going to hit the old don't get complacent. Everyone is happy. It seemed to gain focus. I'm very happy with that. We'll hand over to Vincent to see if he wants anything else to say. Everyone's reacted well. And I'm assuming that the, the good team talks kind of help towards that team dynamic aspect and improves the, the team cohesion and whatnot. But I mean, we've been playing some lovely football so far, so the team cohesion looks very, very good to me. But the question is, can we, will we rue all of those missed chances? Solly Marge with the ball now, and that's the end of that highlight. You can see uh, Brighton are coming a lot more down the middle, and we're, we're hitting them on the right-hand side. Gross with a free kick now. He strikes it, and it's not really that near the goal. I think we're gonna we're gonna bring off Dembele. He's had a decent well he hasn't had a very good debut at all actually. But we'll we'll bring on Sandro. Just because Dembele is his first game, he's only had a couple of days training. We'll we'll let him off for this game. Safic with a throw in now. Gives it to Knockout into proper. Proper to Escaredo. Ah, oh, they've scored. God damn it. we we're ruining all those misses. I knew it was gonna come. Escaredo has scored. A really, really sweet finish. Safic, Spahic, sorry, knockout. Into into Davy Proper, into Escaredo. He's he's taking a touch. He's got so much space there, and the goalkeepers are always going to struggle with that one. There's a highlight straight from kickoff though, so he might be able to back, bounce back straight away. Baines with the ball over the top to Nias. Nias gives it to Sandro. Sandro into class and Klassen's in the box. Oh, how has he not scored that? That's a terrible, terrible finish from Davy Klassen, and I'm going to bring him off for Wayne Rooney very, very soon. Nias doesn't win the header now, but Garner's there. Schneidlin into Klassen, who's had a fairly poor game. But that's a nice ball over the top to Nias. It's, a, oh, it's also a good tackle by Sittner. I'm not really sure what... Nias didn't really seem bothered by that. Schneidlin into Garner. The space at White for Keane. Lovely spot there. Cross comes in. Oh, and it almost went in, actually. Good save by Ryan in the end. The cross almost ended up in the back of the net of all places. Sandra with the corner now. It comes in. Not really sure why Sigurdsson's not taking that. Nias, he's into the box. Sigurdsson. Oh, and it's... It's blocked, I think, and it's out for a throw-in. We've got a chance from the throw as well. Baines. Oh, okay, not the best throw from Baines, but he's picked the ball back up. What can he do? Sends it into the box. klassen has got it now. Oh, and it's just wide. We've had so many shots this game. So many shots. 18 in total. And I think after this after this tactic, after this highlight, sorry, we'll bring off Davy Klassen. He hits the ball up to Nias now. Apparently he's picked up a, a knock. Keen into the box. Can he get it in? He can. Sandro's there. Oh, how has he missed that? That is horrendous from Sandro. That is absolutely awful. We're going to bring on Rooney and advanced playmaker on support to see if he can do anything from behind the striker. I mean, that was an absolute sitter by Sandro. He's missed a, a, an absolute beggar of a chance there. And they've gone up the other end and scored. We're 2-1 down. I mean... How, how has this happened? We've been absolutely all over them. But our finishing has been appalling this game. Quick free kick by March into proper. He's got so much space there. Where's the defence? Iscaredo and the defence goes missing again for Hamed. He's just he's easily going to score that every day of the week. We've got 15 minutes left to, to save this game. Sigurdsson with a free kick. Now he strikes it. and That was a, a very poor angle that football manager decided to put on. I mean... Where the, you can see all across the park, we've been playing poorly. Phil Jagielka is playing poorly. And we're into the last five minutes now. If we can see it here, it's game over. Pickford with the ball. Gives up to Garner. Into Rooney. Rooney to Sandro. Sandro over to Nias. He's thrown goal. Please score. Oh, he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper again. It's another chance that goes back in. And, I mean, we're just dominating the game. How are we losing this? Sandro with the corner. Sigurdsson with the header. Nias. And he scores. Umanias, Sigurdsson with another assist. It's 2 all. I mean, it's not really the result. We shouldn't really be celebrating too much because a draw at home to Brighton isn't really what we want. It's not really what we're aiming for. But we've scored right at the end. Nias with a lovely little hit there into the back of the net. And two assists for Sigurdsson, two goals for Umanias. And there's six minutes added on. There may be one more chance for us to grab a goal. Oh, no. Gross with a free kick. Hits it against the wall. We could launch a counter attack here. Nias has got it. There's a, there's a run up the top by Sandro. He's into the box, finish it, and he does. Absolute scenes. Umanias has contributed to all of our goals so far. And we've scored 
and a right to the death, 90 plus four minutes. I mean, you can see the start of the run by Sandra here, just on the center circle. It's a fantastic run, and it's an unbelievable pass. Lovely touch to bring it down, and a first time finish then from Sandro. It's 3-2, it's absolute scenes. We've scored two goals in the last five minutes, and surely now we can hold on here. And sure, it's got to be the full-time whistle. It's got to be coming. Nias with it. Into Keane. Keane crosses the ball. It's out for another throw in. It's got to be full-time ref. We've played two minutes more than we should have. Blow up ref, unless unless we score again. Sigurdsson with the ball. He's lost it to Cruz. Ball goes up to Hemed. How the ball, how the, how it hasn't been blown up at full-time. If we can see it here, I'll be fuming. I'll be absolutely... Knock out. And it's a great save by Pickford. Knock out with a fantastic strike. We played 98 minutes of the 96 allocated. Corner comes in, it's headed away by Schneidlin. There is full time. It's a fantastic, fantastic comeback here. Umanias with an absolute stormer of a performance. Whew, that was that was a very end-to-end -end match. I think I think we'll go with a passionate, a very nice victory, and they all have that. It says there, despite a good overall atmosphere, the tension is tangible with most of the players far from interested in listening to you. So I really, really need to improve my dynamics aspect because they're really not happy with the moment i think it's mainly due to wayne rooney he didn't have the best of games then but we've won and leighton baines is injured six to eight days i mean maybe we need to to switch to light training because we're getting so many injuries i think i think i will switch to light training to be honest we'll go defending and we'll switch it to light low especially with the the euro cup games coming up as well it's going to be tough so there we have it then, guys, our first game of the season and our first win as well in very, very dramatic fashion. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you have any tips or comments, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you again.